Brennan Burke, Anson Carter in the booth. Brock Nelson will take the opening faceoff against Pew Suter. And the Red Wings win the draw, but Hirona has to deal with Anders Lee. Lee knocks the stick out of his hand, centers both, and Lee scores! Nine seconds in! Well, that was a full display here. As you mentioned, Brendan, they lost a faceoff, but look, he's on Ronick so fast. He has no chance. And that's his strength and tenacity, getting on that loose puck, creates that turnover, pushes him off the puck, bullies him off the puck. Rasmussen puts it deep off the skate of Dylan Larkin. And then Lucas Raymond, another talented young rookie for these Red Wings, found Larkin, whose shots deflected away. And now Matt Barzell picks it up at center. Kiefer Bellows back in the lineup playing in Cal Clutterbuck's spot with Sezikis and Martin. Here's Barzell, they leave him alone! Christ with a big save out of the top of his crease! Did it in 1984 against the Boston Bruins. Here's a shot from Verona, handcuffed Sorokin, but taken away from the net by Chara. Just his fifth game in the NHL this season, called up from Grand Rapids, where he has spent most of his pro career. Body check delivered by Wallstrom on Sundquist. Here's Green. Plays a lot of minutes, plays in every situation, offensively, defensively, and he's physical and he's mean for a young fella. Sixth overall pick in 2019. Ernie shot off the glove of Sorokin and charging to the net was Chase Pearson. Thompson for Chara. He'll backhand it. Referees in this game are Trevor Hansen and Kevin Pollock. Is this bouncing puck to the front and a chance for Martin after Nelson was diving to tap that one to him? Exactly the same thing. He's Effective when he's skating, he's playing the body, he's forcing the opposition to move the puck prematurely as the puck goes with the mark stall. He fumbles it, and what an effort there from Brock Nelson trying to get it over to Matt Martin in front of the net, but Adam Ernie. Had a good look. Now he's got a nice feed out for Green with a shot. That one tipped wide by Parisi Barzell. Right back to the front, cruising and went to the backhand. And Grice able to make himself big along the ice and keep that one from going in. Dylan Larkin. Lucas Raymond. Raymond drags and shoots. That one blocked down in front of the net. And look at the turn by Barzell. Barzell, he's flying. Works around Hironic. Barzell on the cutback for Wallstrom, and he scores! We're always wondering what Oliver Wallstrom looked like playing in a playmaker's line. Well, we're getting the look of it right now. You see Matt Barzell, BB, looking like the road runner. And then look at the Red Wings collapse. All three, even four Red Wings players come back to try to bail out Hironic and Matt Barzell is one of the best players in the National Hockey League playing the game behind him. 37 seconds to go on the two-man advantage. Sider into the skates of Larkin. Down low in front for Bertuzzi. And Pellick had him tied up. Chora fumbling with it. And you've got Big Z in front clearing things out. And so it's very important that when you're playing these last 20 games or so, that you're prepared and you're ready to execute. Red Wings have won two of their last three, but those are their only two wins in their last nine. And the Islanders still with a minute 10 to go on the power play as Barzell gets past Gagne. Gains the zone, gives to Lee. Into the slot for Nelson, and he scores! Brock Nelson had his stick lifted by Sundquist. He stayed with it and ripped it home for a 3-0 lead. 28th of the year for Brock Nelson. Brock Nelson staying with it and Matt Barzell doing what Matt Barzell does. Transporting the puck to the neutral zone, backing off the Red Wings, hitting Anders Lee in stride. And then Brock Nelson with the patience. Look at it. He's getting back checked pretty hard there from Sunquist, but he just stays with it. And the Red Wings center ice it in. Turned over though, and it's Chara. Getting it ahead for Parisi. Wallstrom and Nelson there as well. Grice kicked it away as Wallstrom did what he could to direct it on net. Puck gets turned over. Zach Parisi showing his speed. And then the saucer pass. We talked about the play of Thomas Grice. He let up three goals on 26 shots. I don't think that's the reason here. We don't see Thomas Grice on the bench. And remember his hard collision with Oliver Wallstrom towards the end of that second period. Here's Bailey for Pajot. Long stretch pass for Paul Mary. Kyle Paul Mary waits and leaves it for Josh Bailey. He scores! Josh Bailey rips it through, and the Isles now lead by four.
Welcome to the hockey game, Alex Nedeljkovic. Great A scoring chance right away, but it starts with speed from the defensive zone. What a long Christ ice pass there. Right on Palmieri's tape. Executes the cross and drop perfectly. As you see, Palmieri draws two defenders to him. And what a shot <laughs> from Josh Bailey. Unbelievable. The top part of the net. Lost during the offseason when they decided to trade Nick Letty for these Detroit Red Wings was the guy that could clear the puck with his skates. In a situation like that, they score. Heronic shot was tipped along the way. Pugh Suter has beaten Sorokin. And the Red Wings score with 6.35 to go. Elias Sorokin was going to get beaten. You weren't going to beat him for a shot that he could see clearly. It had to be a deflection. And Pugh Suter looked to get his stick on that one. As the puck goes back to the point, Hronik, who can shoot the puck with the best in the National Hockey League, fires that puck on net, and Pugh Suter keeps his stick available. You see him deflect it. And Sorokin really had no chance on that. Gave up one late against Philadelphia. Sorokin makes a save on Bertuzzi. As the late goal has given a little life, but it's Nelson taking it back ahead. Nelson for Lee to Beauvillier to Nelson, and they score! What a play between Beauvillier, Lee, and Nelson. Some of these sauces, ragu, primavera, <laughs> like you name it. <laughs> Look at the speed from Brock Nelson. Finds Anders Lee. He shuts the engine down. He slows down across the Beauvillier. And then what a finish. But Brock Nelson puts the pressure on Mark Stahl, who the veteran defender rarely turns the puck over. Forces the turnover, and then he finishes it off too. What three-way passing. And what a finish there. Aho whiffed on a pass. Brana takes it. He's got Pearson going to the net, hits Gagne instead, and he scores! What a rocket from Sam Gagne. And all of a sudden, the goals are coming. It's 5-2. The blue line of the Detroit Red Wings makes some pays. Looking up ice, so he took his eye off the puck for a split second, and the puck bounced off his stick, and what a finish there from Sam Gagne. Casey Zekas might have been in Sorokin's sight lines there. As you look, he's trying to block that shot. But he has no chance as Sam Gagne puts that in the top part of the net. Puck cleared out of the zone. Final seconds run down on the sixth consecutive win here at home for the New York Islanders.